Hey everyone. So I really hope that you can hear me because I am just chilling in the park. And if you can see, I'm I'm on a walk. I don't know if this is relatable or if this is I don't think it's just me, but like I my moods are so inconsistent. I don't know, obviously it has to do with like dealing with depression and things. But like earlier in the day, I was vibing. Okay, I've been watching Vampire Diaries. I don't know why but Vampire Diaries has been giving me so much energy for some reason. And then like you, you just hit a plateau at some point in the day and you just like, instead of it just plateauing, it just goes downhill. I'm like, I don't know how to describe it with my eyes. I can't tell if it's freaking Loki hay fever or what, but I am um, feeling a bit emotional. Like, you know, in the kind of emotional way you could literally be like on the edge of tears. I don't want to be sat here for too long because I do feel like I might have sat in dog poo, but there was just something on my mind while I was walking. So I was just thinking about how like, I feel like it's a universal feeling on this planet where you just kind of worry about whether or not you will be remarkable and you don't want to just fade into the crowd and things and i feel like for me a lot of anxiety comes from even on a smaller scale i just worry that actually there is nothing about me that is remarkable. There's nothing about me that is particularly special. And on a smaller scale in terms of like school and things, there isn't a part of me that is like super good at school. Like I've never been someone that's ace school, ever. I've always been like average enough to pass things, but there were every single like school report I got, people would be like, this isn't your full potential. You could do better. But then when you're just doing your schoolwork and shit, it's like, how do I know what my full potential is? Why do you see that and I don't? And I feel like that's the kind of followed me through my whole like school career or whatever. And I would constantly miss out on my potential. Um, for example, with like my A-levels, I don't know why my life keeps going back to my A-levels. Like my A-levels for some reason, that's the time when I first had to deal with depression and it was because I was putting so much pressure on myself. And it was the worry that I would work so hard and I would still do trash. To the point where I worried so much about failing that I didn't work for my grades. And I technically passed, but it wasn't good enough to get me where I had wanted to go. That kind of made me question everything. And I think if you're like a, child of immigrant parents like I am I mean it depends on your parents I guess but a lot I know a lot of immigrant parents like yeah so what you need to be is you need to be a doctor or you need to be a lawyer or you need to be whatever and it's completely understandable like for my parents imagine you know escaping a war-ridden com country and coming to the UK and you obviously want to work your hardest so that your kids can have a good future and you want them to know that you know future is important and this time that you want to that you're here you want to put the effort in so that you can be able to support yourself and things and so when it came to my a-levels at first i went in and i was like yes i'm going to study biology chemistry politics and i was like yeah what i'm going to choose is medicine and then the difficult thing with medicine is you can't study that unless you're passionate about it. And I realized eventually through, I don't even know if it was introspection on purpose, but through some introspection that I didn't actually want to do medicine. Medicine was a thing that my parents wanted me to do. And I had this intrinsic fear of disappointing my parents to the point where I was like, okay, I'm going to have to follow through with medicine because there's not other thing I can do. And even now, I would like to say that it's completely, that I'm even being aware of it, that I don't live part of my life for my parents, but I have such a bad edge to people, please, that it really comes through with my parents. Um, I would say even Loki with the degree I'm doing now, which is my cardiology, but I don't know who I would be without that. Like if I just separated myself from the people pleasing, what would I be doing? 
I honestly have no idea. But anyway, the main thing I wanted to say was I have gone through my life kind of accepting that I am painfully average. Like, I was really giving nothing in school or with just any kind of fun talents. I can sing mediocrely and that's when I'm completely by myself. I can't act, I can't dance. Um, school, I'm not really good at school. It's just like, sometimes I just sit there and I'm like, what if this is just the life that I am meant to have? Like maybe it's not even me just being in a rut or something like that. It's like, this is all I'm destined for. Like you've got to think about it. Let's say we're all just like one big like school of fish. Like we aren't all gonna be remarkable. Some of us are gonna be left behind or just fade into the background and be forgotten by history. And it's weird that we as humans all have this, I mean, a lot of us anyway, I'm not saying all, like we all feel the same, but for me anyway, have this edge to be remembered by history or to be remarkable. But it's like, is that even possible? And if it isn't possible, is it something that we should really be upset about? Like, maybe being remembered by history is kind of overrated. Like, what about the small pleasures of life? You know? Like, there are so many small things to be grateful for that even if you as a whole don't feel remarkable, I don't think it's enough to, or it's needed to just disregard all of the small impacts that you have just by being born. Like, if you ever, do you ever just think about like, how much of it oh my god i'm literally so anxious that someone's gonna come look at me anyway do you ever just think about the impact that you have on people just as a person existing you know to the outside world you might not be remarkable but like that one time that you smiled at that person that you told them their outfit was cute whatever made their day and that ricocheted into them being a nicer person and things like that and just all the little things that you do for your friends and things and that still has a big impact just because it doesn't make make history and it, it isn't written in history books doesn't mean that you didn't leave any mark on the world you know i actually wonder if i have issues like i cannot just go through a day without being super existential like it's ridiculous to the point where i'm like maybe if, if i wasn't so anxious about writing you know i would have some things to write okay i could be a good writer but again, that's the thing about like perfectionism. And I am just so scared that I am gonna try my hardest and I'm gonna be mediocre regardless. Like even if I tried, even if I really put my heart into it, I could just be mediocre. I would be giving nothing. And then it's just like, okay, so that's it. Like it's almost easier for me to not have put my all into something to know that, well, I could have been remarkable i could have done something really cool or something i'm really proud of versus i put in the effort and regardless i made no impact i didn't do anything that i was proud of and it's just some interesting food for thought yeah i feel so like on the edge of being emotional but I don't really want to be because I'm not about that life. I'm trying to be crying on my walk to the park. It's just weird. And I've realized that it's it's such an undercurrent to everything I do. Like, it's about being remarkable. But also, it's like, I really, really just don't want to have tried and failed and realized that actually there was nothing I was meant to do in life except for, like, go to school, go and do a boring job that I'm not passionate about, and then die you know and it's the thing is a lot for a lot of people you have to do a job that you aren't passionate about because you don't always have the choice and there's nothing wrong with that but it's also like i would like to work to live not live to work and i don't know if it's just a uk and us thing but it seems to be more that we work we live to work and i don't know as a person that deals with a lot of anxiety that very much scares me because just like encouraging myself to go to work triggers me so i don't know it's funny because even with the the, the job that i'm trying to do after i graduate or whatever like i'm making sure it's a job that doesn't involve me having to deal with people 
because the dealing with people aspect of my like any job it gives me so much anxiety but basically these are my thoughts for today um low-key the light is doing well but i look like a boy i'm really trying to pay attention to the person in the background i'm a little bit scared anyway yeah i'm very much giving you boy with a do-rag and a chain right now but like it doesn't matter i just hope that i don't have mud on my bum yeah if you could relate to this let me know but this is a very spontaneous tete -tete tuesday so i don't know if this made any sense but i'm just triggered and i thought that i would share it with you because my youtube channel is basically my diary right now hopefully if i can figure out how to balance things i will be back and better but for now that's all that's on my mind okay but the sun she do be treating me i want to see my ootd Oh my god, I'm genuinely worried that there's like mud on my butt cheek. Purr. You actually can't see me. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, um, I hope that you enjoyed this and I'm gonna see you next week probably. I'm gonna leave before I embarrass myself.